Hello Math Crew, here's some practice with looking at tables of values and deciding whether you have a linear relationship, an exponential relationship, or neither of those two. Before we get rolling on the actual practice, here are some reminders. In a linear relationship in a table, we need a consistent addition or subtraction pattern in the x's that corresponds to a consistent addition or subtraction pattern in the y's. That goes with the slope of a line, rise versus run. In an exponential relationship, we need a consistent addition or subtraction pattern in the x's corresponding to a consistent multiplication or division pattern in the y's. As always, I recommend that you pause the video, try each problem for practice, and then return to the video to see if your results match mine. In these practice problems, we need to decide whether we have a linear, exponential, or neither type of relationship present in the table. Uh, we're going to explain our reasoning, being very careful to discuss the specific action of each variable in each case. And then if we do have a linear relationship or an exponential relationship, we're going to attempt to write the equation that goes with that. Table A. Um, the inputs x are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The outputs y are 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80. If we uh, go through the x's, we'll notice that the x's all increase by 1 each time. And that's going to be the case for all of them that we do here today. But it won't be the case for every table on the planet. So the x's increase by 1. The outputs, if we only look at the outputs from 5 to 10, you might think, oh, it's adding 5. But then you notice that the next one is added uh, something else. So we go 5, 10, 20, and then 40, and then 80. And you'll notice that if you multiply by 2, 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 40 times 2 is 80. So we have a consistent multiplication pattern in the y column of multiplying by 2. We can write the reasoning right now as x increases 1, y doubles or multiplies by 2. Since we have um, an addition pattern in the x's, a consistent addition pattern in the x's corresponding to a consistent multiplication pattern in the y's, we have an exponential relationship. Our equation needs to look like y equals a b to the x, where a is the y-intercept. I don't have that in the table, but I can find it by going backward in the table. So if I go backward in the x's to x equals 0, I can go backward in the y's by dividing by 2 instead of multiplying by 2 to get a y value of 2.5 or 2.5. So our equation should look like y equals 2.5 times 2 to the x. And that 2 for a base comes from the doubling action that we get. Table B. The x's increase by 1 each time. The outputs y start at 100, and they grow to 105, 110, 115, 120. Each of those is an increase of 5. For our reasoning, as x increases 1, y increases 5. That tells us that we have a linear relationship. Our equation would have the form y equals mx plus b, where the b here is our y-intercept and m is our slope. To find the y-intercept, we can go backward in the table. We can go to x equals 0 by subtracting 1. And we can go to a y-value of 95 by subtracting 5. Your slope. The rise versus the run, that's the change in y versus the change in x. And we can tell from our table, by how we have it outlined, that the change in y is 5 every time the change in x is 1. And both of those positive, or both of those quantities are positive. So your slope is positive 5. Your equation, y equals 5x minus 95. And remember, you can check these equations by plugging in each of your ordered pairs and making sure that they work. And mine is not working. 
Oh, right, because it should be 5x plus 95. There we go. So you should check your stuff. You never know when you might lose a negative or positive sign. Table C. Oh, I misspoke. The x's in table C, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, those are each increasing by 2. The outputs y, 7 to 13 to 19 to 25 to 31, those are all increasing by 6. For your explanation, as x increases 2, y increases 6, that means that we have a linear relationship. And for an equation, in y equals mx plus b format, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. We can find the y-intercept this time, just like we did in the last one, with a little bit of a twist to it. When you go backward to x equals 0, that's only a half of a jump of 2. So we would take half of a jump of the 6 to go backward to get our y-intercept. So 7 minus 3 would give us 4 for a y-intercept. For a slope, comparing the change in y to the change in x, the y's were increasing by 6 and the x's were increasing by 2 for a slope of 3. Our equation, y equals 3x plus 4. You can go ahead and give some ordered pairs a check, and in fact, the safest thing to do is to check all of them. A few more to take a look at here. Table D. The x's are increasing by 1 each time. The y's go from 5 to 20 to 45 to 80 to 125. If we try multiplication here, 5 times 4 would be 20, but 20 times 4 would not be 45. So it's not exponential. Multiplication by 4 did not work. To go from 5 to 20 with addition, we would use adding 15. 5 plus 15 would be 20, but 20 plus 15 is not 45. So this one ends up being neither exponential nor linear. And the reasoning for this, as x increases 1, y has neither a consistent addition or subtraction pattern nor a consistent multiplication or division pattern. Table E, the x's are increasing by 1. The y's, they start at 2,000, they go to 2,050, and then to 2,100, 2,150, and then 2,200. These are increasing by 50 each time. We have addition of 1 in the x's and addition of 50 consistently in the y's, and that means we have a linear relationship. The reasoning here, as x increases 1, y increases 50. Your equation, y equals mx plus b. Our slope, comparing the change in y to the change in x, the y's change by 50 every time the x's change by 1, and so that leaves us a slope of 50. 
our y-intercept we need to go find. We can go backward in the table, like we have in other examples. So we'll subtract 50 from 2,000 to get 1,950 for a y-value when x is 0. Our equation, y equals 50x plus 1,950 for this table that shows a linear relationship. Our last one together, table F, X's are increasing by one. The Y's go from one to three to nine to 27 to 81. This will be multiplication by three. That means we have an exponential relationship The reasoning, you would state something like, as x increases 1, y uh, triples or gets multiplied by 3. Our equation, y equals a b to the x, we need a y-intercept going backward in the table to when x is 0. Instead of multiplying by 3, when we go backward, we will divide by 3. 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. Our equation should read y equals 1 third times 3 raised to the x. The 1 third is the y-intercept. The 3 is the action or the tripling. And I think that one is done.